Hello guys, this is Mike from theprogramming.org and in the last video we made a class and it's pretty basic. All it has is these private variables and we have these public functions. Well, we learned that the private variables we can't directly access or change. So how can we set these variables? Well, the best way would be to use a constructor and a constructor is used when you create the object of this class we can uh, initialize it with whatever values we want for these but we'll get into that in the next tutorial in this tutorial we're going to use what's called getters and setters and what a getter and a setter is are their functions and for instance a get function we would say this we want to get make so we need a return type string and we're going to say get make just like that that's syntax and inside of these curly brackets what we're going to do is we're going to return make so that is the basic syntax of it you have the return type and you want to say get and then capitalize that variable right there and make and it's not doesn't have any parameters right there and you just want to return that variable now to set that variable we don't have a return types because we're not returning anything we're just setting something so we're going to say void set make so very similar, just set and get is on top, but we do have a parameter for this one, and we need to pass in the string. If it was, if we were making a set year, we would have an int passed in, but for this instance, we have string, and I'll just call it m for now. We'll open up some more curly brackets, and we're going to have make equal that m that we passed in. So that way we can indirectly give it a value and set it right here for our private variable and the good thing about this is I could have a bunch of if statements that tested if the value being passed in is valid or not like let's say um, we had a list of like 10 different makes that we know that Toyota made or something like that if it wasn't in that list we could say uh, we're not going to make that that value because that value doesn't even exist so you can use this and however you want and make sure that it's a valid value so let's go down here and what we can say now is we can use we can use uh, the object Camry that we made from the type car and we're going to say Camry dot set make and we need to pass it a string and I'll just say Toyota alright oops get that semicolon on the outside alright now we can get the make if we want but if you just say Camry dot get make we're going to get nothing printed out and the reason for that is is this doesn't say uh, see out make so we need to actually see out this whole thing. So see out, less than, less than, in line. All right, so now if we ran this, we can print to the screen that this is in fact a Toyota. All right, so that is the basics of get and set functions. They're very easy to comprehend, hopefully. And in the next tutorial, we're going to go over constructors where we can actually initialize this uh, the objects each time we create a new one. So that makes it a lot easier as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and watch the next video. Thank you guys.